Before we get this review started, I just wanted to clarify something real quick. In my last video of Wonder Woman 1984, a lot of my friends said, which they do support me watching my videos, it's just that the reason they didn't watch the video was because they said that they were afraid of spoilers. Well, I just want to clarify this real quick. None of my videos are going to contain any spoilers which, when it comes to recent films, but there's only three things that I will do that involves spoilers. Number one is if you see in my YouTube titles that it, can, it has the word spoilers, that's the only time that I will discuss about that. Number two is if you're gonna see me talk about a movie and then I'm gonna give a big warning in big bolded yellow words that says spoilers, kind of like this example right here. And number three, it is a movie that I am discussing that is over 15 years old because I mean, it's it's been 15 years, so. I'm pretty sure most of the people have seen the movie already, and if you haven't, then that's just a big warning, just ahead of the time. But yeah, I just wanted to just uh, get that out of the way real quick, and just make sure that everybody is aware of how I am trying to make the system work. But I think I just need to spoil myself, not with movies, but spoil it with my hair, because I desperately need a haircut. Soul was directed by Pete Docter, the same filmmaker that brought us Monsters Inc. up and Inside and Out, now comes to us with a story about middle school music teacher Joe Gardner who accidentally dies and must reunite his soul back with his body just right before his big breakout gig as a jazz musician. This is Disney's most recent animated feature film to be streaming on Disney Plus and for the first time features an African American protagonist for Pixar. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with y'all, I was this close to not reviewing the movie at all. Not because I don't have anything against the film, I don't, it's just really, I just wasn't in a Pixar Disney mood to review any of their films. But because the way how the world is going on right now, and the way how there's not a lot of new movies coming out at the moment, I just figured, well what the heck. This movie came out on Christmas Day alongside in competition with Wonder Woman 1984, but the only difference between this movie and that movie is that Soul is a fun and enjoyable ride. I had a really good time watching this movie. Pixar, once again, is able to create an original content that has a soul. No pun intended. I never saw the trailers to any of the movies, so I wouldn't completely know nothing about this film, and when I saw this film for the first 30 minutes, I thought I was tripping because it's not, hey, it's not every day in a Pixar film where the main protagonist dies within the first act and then we see a new interpretation of the afterlife. So what everything I saw in here was pretty original. The animation in here is, well, once again, on point, just like most of the Pixar films that we get. But the thing I want to focus here on the most is Jamie Foxx as Joe Gardner and Tina Fey as 22. The voice acting here is brilliant, and the dynamic duel between each other is without a doubt the highlight of the film. Every moment when they're on screen together, you can really sense that the actors are working off one another. And there are at times where I forget that Jamie or Tina are playing these animated figures because they're just so much into their character. Trent Renzer, which I hope I'm saying that name right, and Atticus Ross' uh, music score on both jazz and regular music has a good combination on it, and it is just well balanced between one another. There's also this hidden me and soul purpose about what is that spark and what makes us us in life and what is our purpose, and it really makes me think about it a lot because it, just in real life as a YouTuber, it really gives me that spark just to be in front of the camera because this is really what I enjoy doing. I like, or not not just being like, I love being in front of the camera. I like not just performing in front of everybody in front of here because really I'm a shy guy in real life, but for some odd reason, it just gives me that spark to just wanting to go out there and be in front of everyone and just just doing what I love. So, I just want to say that that, from the bottom of my heart, that this is just something that I'd love to do, and hopefully that I can do this for a long time. And that's something that the movie really got to me a lot. And that is just, yeah, I'm, I, don't even, I don't even know if words can describe how I feel on the inside, because sometimes that's, it, it, it's not something I can really just, just saying words, it's something that I, I just feel within. So yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say about it. 
Now, even though I thought this movie was great and that it hit me in some personal places, which I never thought that it would intentionally, it, this movie did not come without flaws, though, because within the third act, there were some story elements that I did find a bit quite predictable. And there were times where they, the character, had to make some tough character decisions, making plots to where they must choose this life or that life. And it's pretty much old recycled story elements that we've seen many countless times in a Pixar film, which I wish they did something new, but that's just me being a little nitpicky about it. I would consider this Pete Doctor's weakest Pixar film that he's made, but don't let that fool you because this is still a really great Pixar film. I know there really wasn't a lot of films that came out last year, 2020, because let's face it, it was a nightmare, but I'm at least pretty thankful that a film like this was able to come out of it, and I would say that this is probably the best, not only is this also just the best animated film of 2020, but one of the top 10 best films of 2020. For the final score, I'm going to give Disney Pixar Soul a 9 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Look forward to more movie reviews to come along in the future. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe here to the channel for more content. And until then, I'll see you in the next video.